Scientists have just confirmed what the trembling ground beneath Naples has been trying to tell us. Deep beneath Campi Flegre, a hidden fault system has cracked open for the first time in modern history. The discovery changes everything we thought we knew about Europe's most dangerous supervolcano. October 31st, 2025. A research team analyzing five years of seismic data makes a discovery that sends shockwaves through the volcanology community. Hidden beneath one of Europe's most populated volcanic regions, a completely new fault system has emerged from the depths. For months, seismologists had been puzzled by the earthquake patterns beneath Campi Flegre. Traditional analysis showed what appeared to be random underground tremors scattered across the 13-kilometer caldera. But when researchers at Stanford University partnered with Italy's National Institute of Geophysics, they deployed something unprecedented machine learning algorithms capable of detecting seismic events too small for conventional monitoring. The results were staggering. Over 54,000 earthquakes recorded between January 2022 and March 2025 alone. But it wasn't the quantity that alarmed scientists. It was the pattern hidden within the data. What they discovered was the birth of a systematic fracture network, a ring of interconnected faults encircling the entire caldera like a geological spider web. The lead researcher described it as watching the Earth's skeleton restructure itself in real time. The primary fault strikes northwest at 249 degrees, dipping 53 degrees deep into the Earth's crust. Seismic analysis reveals this system has been quietly organizing itself since 2019, transforming from scattered micro-seismic events into focused, clustered activity along defined planes. But this isn't just another crack in the ground. The fault network shows characteristics of what volcanologists call a potential incipient fault, a structure that's actively forming, potentially reactivating ancient fractures that have laid dormant for centuries. The implications are profound. The earth beneath one of Europe's most densely populated regions is fundamentally reorganizing itself. What makes this discovery particularly alarming is its epicenter, directly beneath Pozzuoli where half a million people live within the volcanic danger zone. The fault intersection occurs at the exact location where current unrest is most severe, suggesting this new system could focus and amplify future seismic activity. But the fault system itself wasn't the most disturbing part of what they found. The real shock came when they looked at what was feeding it. The fault system isn't acting alone. Deep beneath the surface at roughly seven to eight kilometers down, Pressurized fluids and gases are building against a natural barrier, a layer of volcanic tough rock that's been containing subsurface pressures for decades. This barrier, formed from ancient volcanic deposits, acts like a geological pressure cooker lid. Real-time satellite interferometry data reveals something extraordinary. The ground above this hidden chamber has risen 1.46 meters since 2005. That's nearly five feet of vertical movement. GPS monitoring stations show the uplift is accelerating, with current rates reaching 10 to 20 millimeters per month. The Earth is literally inflating like a balloon being filled with pressure. Ground-penetrating radar and seismic tomography reveal a complex network of fluid-filled fractures extending from the deep reservoir toward the surface. These pathways are expanding in real time, creating new conduits for pressurized gases and heated water to migrate upward. Carbon dioxide emissions from surface fumaroles have reached 4,000 to 5,000 tons daily, more than five times normal levels. Temperature readings at monitoring sites like Solfaterra Crater show thermal signatures consistently above 100 degrees Celsius, with some fumaroles reaching temperatures that can melt aluminum. Live thermal cameras capture new steam vents opening along the newly identified fault lines. The chemistry of these emissions tells a story of deep change happening right now. Isotopic analysis reveals gases with signatures matching those from depths of 7 to 8 kilometers, the same depth where seismic imaging detects the pressurized reservoir. This isn't surface weathering. These are deep earth processes finding new pathways to the surface through the expanding fault network. Each earthquake along the system represents rock fracturing under mounting stress allowing trapped fluids to redistribute through an ever-expanding volcanic plumbing system. But scientists are detecting something new. The earthquakes are becoming more organized, more systematic, 
suggesting the fault network is evolving from a pressure relief system into something potentially more dangerous. Then, in March of this year, something happened that made scientists realize this cycle might be different. March 13th, 2025, 6.47 a.m. local time. Residents across the Campi Flegre region were jolted awake by the strongest earthquake the caldera had produced in decades. The magnitude 4.6 tremor lasted nearly 30 seconds, long enough for pictures to fall from walls, for cracks to appear in centuries-old buildings, and for the scientific community to realize they were witnessing something unprecedented. This wasn't just another earthquake. Analysis of the seismic waveforms revealed something that changed everything. The tremor originated directly along the newly identified ring fault system, marking the first time scientists had observed a major release of energy through this hidden network. Since that wake-up call, the situation has escalated dramatically. October data shows the fault system is becoming increasingly active, with 38 earthquakes recorded in a single day along a 5-kilometer segment. The spacing and timing of these events suggest the network is becoming more efficient at channeling stress, potentially focusing future energy releases into larger, more damaging events. Live monitoring reveals burst-like earthquake sequences, sudden clusters occurring within minutes of each other, suggesting rapid crack propagation through rock. Some swarms contain over 150 individual events in 24-hour periods, with magnitude systematically increasing as the fault system matures. Current seismic data show something that wasn't present in previous unrest cycles. Very long period signals indicating massive fluid movement through expanding crack networks extending from the surface down to depths of several kilometers. These deep resonance patterns suggest the volcanic system is connecting surface activity to much deeper processes. What's particularly concerning is the systematic nature of recent activity. Computer models tracking the progression show earthquake clusters are migrating along the ring structure in sequence, activating different segments like a zipper opening under pressure. Each new activated segment increases the network's capacity to channel deeper pressures toward the surface. Real-time GPS data shows the ground is now rising at its fastest rate since monitoring began. Thermal satellite imagery captures new heat sources appearing along fault lines. Gas sensors detect increasing concentrations of deep source gases reaching the surface through newly opened pathways. But what scientists are seeing now suggests this is just the beginning. The real concern is what the fault system might be preparing for. Current data analysis is revealing multiple pathways for how this crisis could unfold, and none of them are reassuring. The fault network's rapid evolution has created scenarios that weren't possible just months ago. Scenario 1. Accelerating Seismic Release Models predict the ring fault system could generate earthquakes up to magnitude 5 as it continues maturing. The newly organized structure could focus earthquake energy more efficiently than ever before, potentially causing widespread building collapses across the densely populated region. Engineers analyzing current building damage patterns estimate that a magnitude 5 event could affect structures across multiple municipalities simultaneously. Scenario 2. Hydrothermal Explosion Cascade The expanding fault network is creating direct pathways from the pressurized deep reservoir to the surface. If the tough barrier experiences sudden failure, pressurized water and steam could explode upward through multiple fault segments simultaneously. Unlike single-point hydrothermal explosions, this distributed release could affect areas across the entire caldera. Scenario 3. Magmatic Activation Three-dimensional seismic imaging reveals that the ring fault system extends deeper than initially thought, potentially connecting surface activity to magma reservoirs at depths of 8 to 12 kilometers. Current gas chemistry shows no signs of magmatic involvement, but the fault geometry creates the theoretical possibility for deep magma to find new pathways to the surface. Real-time monitoring is capturing changes that support all three scenarios simultaneously. The fault network continues expanding daily. Pressure measurements show continued buildup in the deep reservoir. Surface manifestations are intensifying along multiple fault segments. What makes prediction nearly impossible is the interconnected nature of these processes. A large earthquake could trigger hydrothermal explosions. Hydrothermal activity could potentially activate deeper magmatic processes, 
the fault system that started as a pressure relief mechanism could become the conduit for much larger releases. International experts are divided on probability assessments. Conservative estimates focus on continued earthquake activity and gradual pressure relief through increased gas emissions. Moderate scenarios predict possible hydrothermal events affecting local areas. Worst case assessments acknowledge that the newly discovered fault geometry creates possibilities that were not previously considered. Emergency planners are updating scenarios in real time as new data changes the risk assessment. Evacuation routes for 500,000 residents are being recalculated based on the ring fault geometry. Hospital capacity plans now account for potential simultaneous impacts across multiple communities. Yet the most unsettling aspect is that all current monitoring suggests the system is still organizing itself, still building towards something larger. The fault system continues expanding at an unprecedented rate. Satellite imagery captured just this week shows new surface fractures appearing with each seismic swarm, extending the network's reach toward previously unaffected areas. The ring fault structure now spans nearly the entire caldera, creating a continuous zone of weakness that could potentially channel pressures from the deepest reservoirs directly to the surface. Current monitoring reveals the system is entering a new phase. Earthquake patterns show increasing organization, suggesting the fault network is approaching maximum efficiency. Gas emissions are climbing steadily, indicating expanding connections between deep reservoirs and surface vents. Ground deformation rates show no signs of slowing. What concerns scientists most is that every model prediction has been exceeded. The fault system organized faster than theoretical timelines suggested. Seismic energy release has been more systematic than previous volcanic systems. Ground uplift continues accelerating beyond historical precedents. Live data streams from the caldera paint a picture of a system in rapid transition. Thermal cameras detect new heat sources appearing weakly along fault traces. Seismic arrays record micro-fracturing events occurring at depths that suggest the fault network is propagating both laterally and vertically. Chemical sensors identify gas compositions that indicate increasing connectivity between shallow and deep processes. The tough barrier, the geological dam containing decades of accumulated pressure, shows expanding fracture networks visible in ground-penetrating radar images updated daily. If this critical structure fails catastrophically, the sudden pressure release could activate the entire fault system simultaneously, creating cascading effects that no model has been able to accurately predict. Perhaps most unsettling is the realization that the ring fault system represents something unprecedented in modern volcanology. While individual faults and earthquake swarms are well understood, the systematic organization of an entire ring structure beneath an active volcanic system is essentially uncharted territory. Monitoring technology deployed across the caldera represents humanity's most sophisticated geological surveillance network. Yet the fundamental question remains unanswered, whether this fault system will eventually reach equilibrium through gradual pressure release, or whether it's organizing itself to facilitate something far more significant. Current earthquake migration patterns suggest the ring structure may be approaching completion. When that happens, the entire network will be capable of acting as a unified system, potentially channeling pressures from multiple deep sources simultaneously. No computer model can accurately predict what happens when that level of coordination is achieved. Scientists continue their vigil, watching data streams that update every few minutes, tracking changes in a system that took millions of years to form, but has reorganized itself in less than a decade. The fault network that may have started as the Earth's pressure relief system could be transforming into the mechanism through which much larger forces find their way to the surface. The next few months will reveal whether the ring fault system represents volcanic evolution or volcanic preparation. Either way, half a million people continue their lives above a geological experiment that's still writing its own rules.